This is about our Shibambu. Where my soul finds completion in the water of your love. Now this. Yes. So welcome to the urine therapy training course number 12, the final class five of five. Uh, it is a Sunday when we have uh, one student with us today uh, from uh, Manja. Can I say who you are? Yeah. <laughs> who's out there in Australia. I never know who is like private about things or not. And Daniel may or may not be joining us, but to set the mood and to set the class straight, let's do a, we're going to do a quick communion. You don't have to lift up your glass, but we just want to know. Yeah, got it with you. Uh -huh. So this is the water of life also known as Shivambu, which translates to either the water of Shiva or blood of the Lord. And so this water with 4,000 bioavailable activated structured living water is designed for you, by you, and it goes through you ready when you're ready to use it for your highest good. So let's toast. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> good year, good year. We're going to start off with some, some, how, how fresh is yours? This morning. This morning. Yeah. All right. Well, the uh, we, we've been posting around the guys at Shibambo here in, in Boulder, Colorado. I've been posting around two different um, uh, topics for research and study right now. And one is there are some mm -hmm. hardcore people, they'll only drink fresh, they'll only apply fresh. And then there's a people say aged is evolved to the max. It's got the best of everything in it and why. And we're comparing the two and, and get letting people weigh in on that. Yeah. Okay. It's, we're not favoring one or the other. We're just showing people options. Yeah. Great. Cool. Um, do, 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 do. Have you tried yet an Orin fast? I think we've gone through that. No, oh, no, not really. Like I did just Happy. accidentally like a day yesterday, but not, I ate in the evening. Yeah, so not really, no. All right. You think you might ever try Orin Fast? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, definitely want to. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay. When you can set aside your time and your day from responsibilities and yeah. projects and work, <clears throat> then that's the day where you'll do the inner work and, and the nurturing and the healing and the detoxing all that in one day. Yeah. Most people need three to seven days, but that's a whole other conversation. Yes. This is why it'd be nice to have a retreat in Australia. I know. I... Let, me give, let me give you my definition of a retreat and then we'll get into class here. Yeah. I hope it makes sense to you. A retreat is where you... Take a vacation from how you've been treating yourself and all life and everyone in your life until life becomes a treat again. No, oh, that's beautiful. Right? And then you can go back into your world and you'll see things, experiencing things with a new view and a new understanding of you and life. Yes. Yeah. So okay. I think Australia's hit for that. Ready for that? Yes. I'm looking into venues. Right on. Okay. Um, <laughs> Looking around. Looking around. No rush on anything. Do, 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 do. What got you into urine therapy in the first place? What was your motivation? Was it a book? Were you sick? Were you, uh, what was it? I actually don't remember. I seriously don't, I don't know. I must have just stumbled. I did a few years ago and then I must have just stumbled on it again and just went up. Oh. How did you stumble on it? How did it show up in your life? Somebody mention it, or did you saw a right. video? Maybe I just maybe I intuition. Yeah, I I actually don't remember going looking for it. I didn't look for it. It must have just popped up on some of my feeds or something again. I've gone yes, right, okay, and off I oh. went again. I guess this is how it works with people. One day you go, 
think I'm just going to collect my pee and take a trip. <laughs> well, people that know me know I do do stuff like that. <laughs> yes, just, well, oh, I'm going to do this today. <laughs> yeah, I might well, have seen it. something about seeing you on something, and just oh. it might have been something triggers him. Yeah, might have been. I've just seen you, and then Jason Shurik too. Uh huh. Oh, Jason Shirk. Yes, he's mentioned at least once, maybe a couple of times. Yes. I would love to have a conversation with him, but we'll see. Yeah, he's done a few interviews on it. Yes, even Lori Ladd talked about it. Yeah, I think it's uh, just people I followed and I heard it come up and off I went. Okay. It didn't take me long. <laughs> okay, here's a question. And this will get us back into some of our protocols that we studied over the last few days. Mm -hmm. How do you store your orange? In a, in a few jars in my bathroom, in okay. a little shelf thing. In a shelf. And, and do you put anything over the jars or leave them? Um, I was just putting a cloth, but now I actually put a lid. Yeah, I know. I should open it. Okay. Yeah. Is the lid uh, just lightly set on there or is it screwed on? It's screwed on. I'm worried about animals getting in there and knocking it over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know, the, the water is perfectly safe in there and can never be contaminated. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, you're doing good. Um, what does UT drinking topically using UT mean to you? Topically? Topically. Some people use the word cosmetically. Yeah. Um, well, it just brings to mind fresh skin. Sometimes just going, I actually, this sounds really vain, but I don't mean it, but sometimes I go, oh, my gosh, look at my skin. It looks so much better today. Yeah, just you go for it that. feels better. I feel fresher and Right. That's vibrant. what we're doing. Mm. And, and energetic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So with all the bruises and blemishes and cuts and scratches and bites and sunburns, and fungus and stuff that happens over the body, and you realize how much surface area the skin covers on the human body, it's amazing one remedy does take care of all of that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I've used it on cuts and it just, it definitely, I've used it on a cut when it was bleeding, 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 and it stopped the bleeding. Is that? Is that yeah, normal? coagulates the blood because it is blood. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. It's homeopathic. Plasma, blood, bleh, bleh, they know how yeah. to weave together. Because it was a good cut, but it just stopped. Mm -hmm. yeah, the bleeding just yeah. stopped. And that's amazing. I mean, it shows the miracle of, of the body when normally we have to apply pressure, cover it up, take the oxygen away from it. And it would be so cool to be able to see this in time-lapse photography. Yeah, yes. I mean, the healing process, and it gets sped up into like 24 hours versus days and days or three hours or one minute or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, have you begun to tell other people, I think you might've mentioned this, other people about this practice of yours? Uh, are you feeling uh, confident enough to tell people? Uh, are you just waiting for the right moment? How does that work for you? No, I've told, well, I'll just speak about it. I just don't. Yesterday, um, it just came out. <laughs> Someone was talking about something that happened. I said, oh, yeah. And they said, well, what do you use? And I went, urine. And they went, what? What did you say? I said, um, urine. Urine, yeah. yeah they, oh, that's disgusting. Da, da, da. And then I went into what it is really and a bit of a conversation. I went, oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then they turned around a bit and they said, I think I just got a shock that you just said it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they're medical too. Yeah. They were medical people. So and they're not they're not happy with the system. So they don't believe in the system anymore. Yeah. So when I said, Oh, I thought you'd be really open to it actually. And then then they started thinking, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it'd be it's nice cool. to have some of them wake up and turn around their thinking. Yeah. And it's neat that you tell this, this new person. I imagine at first they might be 
they held back because that's they're accustomed to that's how they associate with urine mm -hmm. to well wow she's got a whole different view on it i want to i want to know more yes and then other people are like what did you say because <laughs> i yeah. was in a in a pub setting because there was a little conference on so yeah oh it's a perfect setting a pub yeah. <laughs> what is, what's your secret oh i slapped pee on my face oh my i'm so healthy looking you go what did you say <laughs> Well, I've been reading these books and going to internet groups and look what I figured out. It's amazing. It was actually about um, the radiation that had been thrown on us at Canberra and about the hair and everything. I said, oh, yeah, it's getting better. Look, duh. yeah, and that's how it is. Yeah, it's a great, that, that's a great conversation to lead into with people out there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if it's the same kind of contamination we have here, but there's contamination all over the place. Yeah, we, they we, we were hit with that. Um, trails no they deliberately did it they it's this big machine thing and it throws stuff out and it burns you and is it air it's the, it's an aerosol type and it and it distributes fine particles whatever the chemicals are yeah it's radiation or something radiation yeah they don't like us <laughs> no my face burnt lips were swollen everything was swelled up hmm. I've got urine. <laughs> yes. Yes, you've got the best defense ever. Yes. yes. Okay, let them, yeah. And perhaps our shield of our aura will become so strong it can't even penetrate us. Who knows? We'll, I would love that. Yeah. Um, what advice? <laughs> what advice? Here's another question. Now, Daniel wanted to go over the general treatment suggestions. And we'll do that. Uh, whether he, when did he come yesterday? Was it like 10 30, 11? It was a half an hour, an hour later? Yeah, I think it's been an hour. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, what advice would you give to newbies who are just starting on their journey? And I think you mentioned some of this over in Telegram. What advice or suggestions would you give to guys just starting this journey? Yeah, just to take just a dip. dip. Just put it under your tongue or on your tongue to start off with. Um, I think maybe to something good would be to tell them to have a few days of just raw good foods would help or to start off with. But yeah, um, and to change the pattern, mind thoughts. You as an honor it rather than. And think about the lies that we've been told and it's reversed everything's reversed so it's actually a really good medicine that we've got all of our own our own secret little medicine yeah it is and there's there's probably some choice uh affirmations or terms you could also suggest to them mm -hmm. so they can start uh changing their perception or their misperception about the water uh yes. and then they could integrate it So that's something to think about. Because yeah. we just say, you know, here's your water, drink it. You're going to have a great life. Good luck. Nice knowing you. <laughs> um, the interesting thing is when you end up being a teacher or a consultant, you also end up becoming a friend. And these people will rely on you as a support structure mm -hmm. for them to go through either their physical health or uh, ancient traumas and wounds and emotional pain they're also going through you're going to come discover that this water goes pretty deep in healing work yeah and a lot of people are at a point in their life where they got a whole chunk of stuff and programming and patterns in their unconscious mind that ain't going to do them any good taking it further on the journey if you know what i'm talking about yeah, yeah. so that's why i love this work um all right let's see if i've got any more they're just pulling out these are from these are from uh interviews i've done on talk shows so if you want to know where these came from when you first started drinking the water let's call it orange for now did you have to go through a gag reflex or anti-mental hoops uh to get down the hatch to have your first drink um yeah, no, I didn't gag. 
I, I just talked. I always just do it. I'm, I'm not one of those people that really I just go, no, nope. well, you're just going to do it. And I just did it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That's Well, that's what I'm like. I make my mind up and that's it. Um, so that was it. All it is was a decision process that you, yes, you said yourself. Yeah. I just it. changed my thoughts. If anything's negative, I'll put it, spin it in a positive way and off I go. Good, good. Thank you for that. I hope you reader, your listeners are paying attention here. Change your mind. Yeah, that's all it yeah, is. That's all it is. Yeah. They made it so difficult on planet Earth that even the masters would have a hard time, you know, in yeah. 2023. All you have to do is re rethink how you've been thinking and give yourself new instructions and your whole reality shifts. We make things complicated. We do. It and why happen. would that be? Why? Why uh, do we make it so freaking complicated? <laughs> Drink your urine and go eat fruit. Come on. <laughs> so, That's it. Simple. Done. <laughs> Job well, done. If if we decide to surrender, I know it's Sunday, so I get preachy. Uh, if, we, <laughs> if we decide to surrender to our creator, then you have to let go of control. You have to let go of all the things you're holding on to, thinking that's a, your safety net, your security belt, when not holding on to anything is your security belt. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I actually, yeah, I felt that as you said it. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can see why humanity is a little bit jumpy. Right now. Mm. <laughs> a little yeah. bit nervous and high strung right now. Yeah. So, um, uh, fear is just a perception. It's just a thought. Fear is. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, so you, you started teaching? Would you say you're starting as a teacher already? Am I? Teaching well, people in urine therapy? I guess I. In your way? In your own way? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Way, I guess I am. Oh, and last question here. We'll get into the class here, it looks like. How do you explain to people why urine is not an unsterile waste product like the doctors and media have told us? Oh, I... Straight on it. Yeah. Oh, I get a bit... I have to always think about this. It's filtered, isn't it? So it's a filtered... I just say it's plasma and it's full of stem cells and... Yeah, it's our medicine. I different things come to me every time I talk to someone different. Yeah, isn't that isn't that amazing? Yeah, it gets re, re, reframed. Uh, my suggestion is, as you keep reading through the books, um, you'll learn more about the the verbiage that makes it sound medical and scientific. Yes. Yeah. I mean, one 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 way to uh, explain urine is that it's um, plasma ultrafiltrate. Our ultra filtered blood plasma. Yes. Yeah. And most people can get that and they can research it if they want to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I often say that to us. So look it up. Look it up. It's amazing. You just will be shocked at what you find out. Right. And it's cool that you said that because if you keep feeding them all the information, uh, then they're, they're not really taking that serious. It's nice that they're willing to do their own research. Yeah. And then as they're, I think what's going to happen is as they discover that you're right, uh they might come back to you with questions yeah there's been a few people that have tried that have started yeah well so you're doing you're doing it right you're doing the work right it's exciting it is exciting ring the bell <laughs> all right we're gonna grab a book And you've already graduated, so you're pre-graduated. <laughs> All right. Daniel was unclear on uh, on this part, so we're going to review it. Mm -hmm. It will be recorded so he can always watch it when he gets back to the recording. Uh, page 144, chapter 9. 144. These are known as general treatment suggestions is the word 
We are not medical doctors. We are not certified physicians. We are not part of the medical gangster group. Uh, we, <laughs> we are holistic health practitioners. We are healing facilitators. We are not healers. We are the facilitators in people's yeah. work. Yeah. You understand that, right? Yes, yeah. I mean, I came out of the 70s and 80s uh, era when some people were getting all in their head and their ego about being a healer. Oh, I know I came here to be a healer and come see me. I'm a healer, blah, blah, blah. I'm going, how come it doesn't work with your people? What's going on here? It's because you're taking their work away from them. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work that way. They're responsible. Yes. So we support them to be their own healers. Yeah. So you we are. are healers, but we're healers of ourselves. Exactly. And, th and in this case, you are a wellness or a healing facilitator. Yes. So this is why we're calling this general treatment suggestions, not to be confused with diagnosing and prescribing. <clears throat> And I'm sure if you look up the word diagnose or the word prescribe, it'll have some kind of deep, dark, satanic, satanic connection to it, like the word pharmacy. But uh, we're not going there today. <laughs> All right, uh, page 144, you have, the, you have it? Okay. Yes. The list which is becoming, which will come up in about two pages is a general suggestion list of conditions um, the medical profession calls disease. Yeah, by the way, if you take the word disease and you hyphenate the word D-I, you know this part? Yeah. What does it mean? Ease. Lack of ease. Right. So all this list right here is only a shortened version of the entire list, which you can find in the Golden Fountain book uh, by Cohen Vandekroon. So these, what I went through is the ones that are the most uh, widely um, dealt with issues for people. These are the ones that are that seem to be commonplace in a whole lot of people. So back on page 144, thank you for the segue. <clears throat> this list contains some of the most commonly labeled diseases and UT protocol suggestions from the classic book, Golden Fountain, the complete book on urine therapy by Cohen Vandekroon. The beneficial effects of practicing urine therapy may vary according to a client's diet, lifestyle, and Daniel's in the house. We'll just start this over from the start here. If he makes it in here. Daniel Leapy. People are so clever in this community. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Hi. What's up? Holly? Good morning to our Oregon brother. We are doing the uh... general treatment suggestions. Abdominal cleanse. Abdominal oh. cleanse. And we're. Tell her I did it. We did the wait, wait, Joy. Joy. Second time. Joy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is not the time for this. We're doing our class, the last day of the oh. class. Oh, okay. And we're okay. being recorded. So if, we, if Daniel Sorry. can come to the class, that'd be great. <laughs> I'll be there, but I won't be uh, talking. Okay, no problem. Uh, we're going to continue. Yeah, he's going to mute out. All right. So he's here in spirit. That works. Um, this beneficial effect of practicing orin therapy may vary according to a client's diet, lifestyle, state of mind, and way of being, as well as commitment. Benefits will range from some relief to total healing. And in general, one must realize that healing is always dependent upon many cofactors. In this chapter of the manual, you will find the precise methods in detail. As was mentioned in the discussion in the whole body, body-mind healing chapter, all four pillars of health must be in balance to achieve optimum health. These areas are, are it includes the following, mental, emotional, physical, and self-love, or if you like the word spiritual. There are no strict guidelines or rules for UT, Starting from a general basic treatment, everyone must find the application of UT, which is most appropriate for their needs, and similarly, which other types of treatment should be combined with UT for the best results. So as we go through these uh, 
the suggestions and the, and the conditions, you'll see the overlapping similarities. And the reason I point this out is so that you'll get in the habit of intuitively knowing when some come, someone comes up to you, you'll know they'll say what body part and you'll know what related organ goes to that body part. So you're not only like for the eyes, you're not just going to do an eye soak, an eye cup, goggles, a gauze pad, whatever. You're also going to do a compress on the liver. You're also going to do a foot soak for all the reflexology points. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you start to see a pattern after a while. And you just keep going back and forth to until you go, I kind of see how it's playing out. And then you can be cut loose from it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yay, fast learner. <laughs> generally in cases of chronic, uh, we're in the middle of 145. Generally in cases of chronic or serious diseases, it is useful to do an Orin fast with distilled water, foot soaks, navel soaks, or in enemas and have regular or in massages. I would like to include the use of more lemon. Okay. Lemon is so such a wonderful uh, balancer of the acid alkaline and electrolytes and all that cool stuff. What, what people still don't, some people get this part is that once it gets into the body and into the bloodstream, it flips from acid to alkaline. Mm -hmm. So the people say, well, citrus is acid food before it enters the body. Yeah. So start using that. Now I've been, I've been in the habit of doing lemon water in the morning, first thing before I even do juices and before I do anything solid. So you just heat up the kettle, put it in there. And if you want to drop in a tea bag, a little lemon, whatever, that gets the digestive juices going. Okay, yeah. For all the people watching who didn't know this, there you go. <laughs> All right, generally in cases of chronic or diseases, it's useful to have a fast with distilled water, foot soaks, navel soaks, or an animus, and have regular oral massages. Now, this morning I posted on Facebook, and you may or may not have seen it, uh, a new way to do protocols. I started doing this about a week ago. Uh, in, in, in the room of all rooms, which is my bedroom, everything room, I would just take a long, a long uh, bathroom towel, like a beach towel, drop it on the floor, pull out my quart, jar of, of orin and give myself as much of my body rub, massage, eyes, ears, nose, butt, butt, whatever I can with whatever clothes I have on right before bed. Okay. Yeah. First thing in the morning. So you're already refreshed to go to bed and you're not taking stress into bed. Mm -hmm. It only takes like five minutes. Okay. All right. This is referred to as an intensive treatment. In most cases, even when re relatively healthy, this intense form of UT is highly cleansing and health giving. Whenever massage is mentioned in these treatment suggestions, you get to decide whether to use evolving, which is maturing or culturing orin, or fresh, okay? <clears throat> Some people, and we're asking people on the internet to weigh in, do you prefer fresh? Do you feel aged? Why? And one guy who's one of my mentors from India who's been at this 52 years, he says, that's all we use is fresh. When it comes out, we use it. Yeah. Simple. All right. Um, the term massage generally means the gentle rubbing. Hold on a minute. Evolving orange has more potency. The term massage generally means the gentle rubbing of orin into the skin or applying it to the affected parts. Now, the thing you get used to when you do Oren massages, have you done any on yourself or anybody? On myself, yeah. On yourself. So you see the dirt, dirt. Have you ever gotten massages? No. No, really? What are you waiting for? <laughs> um, well, I don't know. You do it. <laughs> yeah, just go. Just ring them up. Hey, you got any openings this week? <laughs> I'm not in Australia. i would help you out. See, there's my massage table right there. Oh, you want just a normal massage? Yeah, full body. Mm. Yeah, no, I haven't had one. Okay. Well, the Please. difference is you're using water over the surface of the skin versus oil, lotion, etc. Mm. And so what I find is trying to do it and then apply pressure is a hit or miss whether it works out. So you might as well just get used to slight brushing it on. Yes. Feather brushing. 
And as many times as you feel like it's saturated enough, we'll call it massage. Yes, yeah, so I do that to myself. Okay, so yeah, you do get body work. Pretty good stuff. So we're on page 146. We're basically going to show you page 146 to 152. <clears throat> if we go through this, you'll start to see, like I said, there's a pattern. There's something familiar in the, almost every one. Acne, the face, obviously, or in, or in fast to clean out uh, the mucus forming foods and the, the fatty foods that are creating the acne because the, the body has to eliminate and it comes out the skin. Okay, uh, aging. Several glasses of general tonic, nose drinking, massage. AIDS, any kind of illness around immunity. Saturation, drinking, massage. Enemas, allergies, you want to clean out respiratory tract. I'd also, you could also include compresses on the chest. Mm -hmm. uh, amoebas, massage, dietary changes. Apathy, drinking nose, nose drinking, foot soap, massage. Appendicitis, basically all forms of inflammation. You know that if there's inflammation in the body and it's located, you know, it's people tell you, well, it's arthritis, it's it's appendicitis, it's it's mabuletositis. Uh, it's never in one place. It's throughout the body, but where it's concentrated is where it presses on the nerves and it causes the pain. So when you understand that inflammation, what causes inflammation. Uh, then it's time for a major diet change. Mm. Yes. We, we can heal ourselves so easily if we just stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> take a break, take a break. All right, arthritis, asthma, you know, you're looking at lung issues, you're looking at respiratory, sinuses, uh, get rid of mucus forming foods, like I said, athlete's foot, saturation dosing, foot soaks. Why doesn't it say foot soaks in there? Add foot soaks. How did I miss that? Foot soaks. In case, I mean, I put all these additions in the book in case this is going to like get republished. Who knows? <clears throat> Atrophy, drinking, nose drinking, massages, back ache, massage, drinking, compresses, foot soak. If you got a back ache, I'd also do a, an enema because oftentimes, oftentimes back aches. I can reschedule. Hold on. I got a client who got COVID. Or what they call COVID. <laughs> she got she got a virus that doesn't exist. Oh, God bless her. Anyway, um, bladder problems. What are they talking about? Okay, the back, oftentimes illnesses, if you go to a doctor, the illnesses are misdiagnosed. And why I say that, because the majority of the time we're constipated. And when the intestines, wherever that section of the intestines is inflamed and is ballooned out, can, can be misdiagnosed as back pain, mm -hmm. chest pain, mm. uterus pain. It could be wherever you know it's located. But that doesn't mean though that organ has a problem. First place I would go to is get an enema. Because nine times out of 10, they're full of, you know what. So <laughs> they just need to clean it out. And then what happens after you've had an enema or you've had a couple of colonics, all of a sudden the pain magically goes away. Mm -hmm. The migraine goes away. The discomfort goes away. I hope they get the connection. Mm -hmm. That would be lovely. All right. Uh, bites, drinking, massage, compresses, rubbings. Now I got bit by a dog. And it bit me right there. And uh, I put a lot of orin on there. And what I found was working is to keep the orin in the mouth and then suck the lip up into the mouth and hold it in place for five minutes or so. Yeah. And after about two or three days, it scarred. And then about five days later, it was all healed up. Yeah, okay. All right, bites, bladder problems, uh, blisters. Rubbing, blood pressure, blood pressure, blood vessels, drinking. Now, blood vessels can also be capillary bursts. Yes. You know what capillary bursts are? Yes. Yeah. I haven't seen this much on women. Maybe it happens. What happens with guys? Yeah. 
right? So this is like day three of putting on the aura and it's almost gone. This was all completely uh, a purple color. Yeah. And it usually takes four or five, four or five days. Mm -hmm. yes. Blood pressure, boils, boils, bowel movements, brain injury or related diseases. Now, any brain related disease, you want to make sure you clean up the gut. The people who have been doing urine therapy and snorting urine up the nose and changing their, their diet, uh, the ones that are the ones that are dealing with Alzheimer's, dementia, senility, uh, uh, autism, ADHD, bipolar, many of those conditions are being healed. It's amazing. They cleaned out their gut. Yeah. And a lot of the things that we've been diagnosed with have all been made up diseases. Okay. Bummer. <laughs> no, no, not really. That, it, that world is what it is. All right. Dandruff, depression. All right. Dandruff, massage hair, scalp, drinking, cysts, massage, compresses, cold, drinking, gargling, pulling, nose drinking, cataracts, eye soaks. Yeah, also with the cataracts and any eye conditions, get in the habit of using gauze, like this kind of stuff, yeah. a, a cotton pad, and just soak it and just lay back. I mean, if you have one of, do you have happen to have one of those little uh, things for sleeping at night? There's this little mask you put on. It's made of cotton or wool, and it has a strap around the back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, well, the neat thing about that is if you have one that's made of cotton, you can soak the whole mask in the urine and set it over your eyes and, and parts of your cheek. Oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, there's, I, I, I imagine, um, Donna, that a whole lot of the things that you could use for protocols you already have in your house, but you didn't look at them that way. Yes, yeah. So now you're going to be walking in your bathroom in the medicine cabinet and underneath the sink and going, God, I can use that for that. And the guy, <laughs> yeah. that's how these protocols got invented. My mind just kept seeing things how I didn't see them before. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm. All right, eczema, energy, drinking, drinking, aged, or in sniffing, or nose drinking. That also for energy, it also want to include enemas and foot soaks. Uh, energy, enemas. I need this information for more classes. Fever, headache, migraine, fasting, fungus, massage, compress, drinking, enemas, gallbladder, gum, hair loss, hair conditions. Have you noticed that when you do a lot of hair uh, massages with Orin that your hair uh, gets darker or it changes color? Yeah, my, yes, yeah. It seems to be getting less gray. Less gray, yeah. Yeah, well, it's taking longer to get gray or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And the more you do it, I notice my hair, it, it seems to look darker. Yeah. And as the years go by, it still doesn't look darker. You're onto something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we are onto something, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> now heart conditions drinking looping body massage foot soaks navel soaks nose drinking what is missing from that picture uh i'm throwing an enema as well hepatitis is liver conditions any kind of liver conditions drinking fasting compress to the liver foot soaks nose drinking the other thing is did you study louise hay book louise hay material you well, I have in the past yeah in the past yeah do you, do you own a copy yes i do one of them. I've got a couple. She's got a couple books out, hasn't she? Yeah, there's one with the rainbow, and there's another one that says Heal Your Body. Yes. Yep. Called Heal Your Life. Mm -hmm. And if you if you feel like it, pull it out and just refresh some of the uh, the affirmations and the conditions that she teaches how to heal. Yep. And you can see how it connects and overlaps with this. Right. Good. All right. I'll have a look at that. For example. If you have a kidney issue, according to Louise Hay, it's being self-critical. Yeah. Not enough joy in your life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's also an emotional connection. So I'd want them to put a compress on their heart. Yeah. Just to touch the area. 
put a compress on your heart. I mean, you can just say touch your heart, but. <laughs> So these are things that your intuition is going to guide you to create these general treatment suggestions unique for each client. Yes. And it's so nice when you don't come up to a new client, Adana, and you're on autopilot. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's going to be that because I this is how doctors operate. It's so impersonal. Yeah. So that, that's the way I roll. I hope you know. Yeah. We have to show that we care more than we know because people are more attracted to people who have heart than people who have uh, education. Yes. Yeah. Uh, multiple sclerosis. We've seen people who have multiple sclerosis get out of their chair and walk into a, uh, um, a conference hall in a hotel unassisted, no cane, no chair because she were, uh, this one gal, uh, Danielle, was doing urine therapy for a year. So there's, there's, there's incredible stories that they'll, they'll, they'll make you cry. Now they're out there. And they'll be coming into your life as well. Yeah. Doing what we were told was impossible. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, obesity and underweight is the same issue. Are you aware of that? Um, yes, to a degree. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The people who are underweight are not absorbing nutrients so they can put on weight and muscle. The people who are overweight are not absorbing nutrients so they can break down uh, toxins and, and uh, mucoid plaque and stuff in the intestines so the body can absorb it. Mm -hmm. Either case is malnutrition. And so when I, when I got, got that aha from doing urine fast, I realized, wow, I can't put on muscle and, and add weight. You just gotta get to the point where your body's clean enough to start absorbing. And nobody's actually calculated how long that takes. <laughs> You'll know when you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, parasites, drinking, fasting, enemas, uh, prostate order, disorders, drinking, fasting, enemas, compress. Um, for prostates, you can simply do a bulb, an implant. I what? Sorry. Um, I might have showed you before, there's a little silicon bulb. It's about that long. It's got a round base and it thins out to the top where the tube releases the orin. Um, I, won't, I won't get it, but you get the visual? Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'll make it, I'll make it user friendly for you. You live in the moment you do stuff like this. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. Right. All right. And it's silicon. It could be blue or red or whatever. All right. So it holds about two or three ounces. Mm -hmm. And you simply lubricate it and put that up your bum. And it'll, it'll help not only the lower part of the bowel and all the, the rectal functions, but also help prostate issues. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Stress. Drinking, nose drinking, foot soaks, massage. I'd also do a, a compress over the torso, over the whole torso, because if they're stressed out, it's going to affect adrenals, kidneys, nervous system, digestive tract. Uh, stress is going to have its impact in all your systems. So if you could get someone to uh, lay a compress over your spine while you're laying down, that would be great. Uh, or lay it down on the bed and lay on it. You know, whatever you, whatever you can to saturate your, your nervous system, your, your, uh, your vertebrae and so forth. Uh, shock, drinking your water, someone else's if, you, if, if needed, navel foot soaks, uh, nose drinking if you're not unconscious, and injections. And it's good to know uh, what the... Uh, what the emergency situation that would actually cause you to do urine injections in people. Because there are people out there who go, well, I don't need to do injections. I'm fine. I drink it. I put it on this and that and the other thing. But everybody needs to know that because there'll be situations where there are people who will need that. Yeah. And you'll remember like, a, you respond like a 911 operator. Oh yeah, I remember in class, urine injections. I happen to have everything. Let's take care of the guy. 
So maybe in, an, in the future, in the next paradigm, people will keep a needle and urine in their car. Yeah. Just in case. Mm -hmm. All right, spasms. I guess in spasms, you can also put Charlie horses and, and cramps in your, in your feet and in your ankles and in the arches of your feet. That's always hurts like hell. You wake up in the middle of the night and your foot's going. <laughs> Did you ever have that happen? Yeah. Yeah, not fun. Uh, yeah. Ruins a good dream every time. <laughs> Darn it, I was in the middle of a good one. Sunburn, next page, 152. Tinnitus, you know what that is? Um, ringing in the ears. Ringing in the ears. Can I just say with the sunburn, um, I haven't been getting burnt and the sun has been, I'm just going brown. Right. That's never happened to me before. Normally I go, I burn and yeah. And what would you attribute it to? I think it's the urine rubbing in the skin. And... Oh, okay. So you, you're, you're doing massages as well as drinking. Yeah, I often often put it in on in the shower or whatever mm. cool um so you don't need I'm to put presuming. it on the, what donna i'm presuming that's what it why because oh not, of course it is yeah. uh, I, I was just wondering if you if you if you're fine and you don't need to put it on you while you're out in the sun no i don't have to no okay perfect that's a good testimony i hope people will get that mm. Wonderful, wonderful. So the ringing of the ears, some people say it's all kinds of things. Some people say it's uh, fungus, viral related. Some people say that too much rock and roll music. Uh, some people will say that it is um, uh, frequencies that have been um, targeted to us. We've been given frequencies that causes our ears to vibrate. Some people say it's ascension energy. It's just annoying as hell. That's the only problem. Or the people get the ring. And I, I get that from time to time. It's just like, get out of there. Get out of my head. Yeah. Okay. And so I just keep doing the drops. That'll help. Um, tooth conditions can be anything from gum disease, oral health, bad breath, anything dealing with the mouth. Could be the tongue, whatever it is. Um, do you ever study tongue diagnosis? No, I've seen it and I've had Chinese doctor do it, but I haven't studied it. No. That, okay. yeah, they can examine your tongue and, mm. and people who have a white coat on their tongue, you know, they can tell you what that is and what organ needs to be supported yeah. and cleaned up. Yeah. See, some people can look at your eyes and your iris and your cornea and your sclerella, or whatever this is, scler sclera, sclerla the wide part of your eyes. And they can tell you what organ is affected by what and uh, what's related to all that. Yeah. So um, ulcer, UTI, uh, vaginal problems, warts, wounds. Any questions? Daniel, if you're still here, if you have any questions, you're welcome to type it in the chat feed. <clears throat> to see if I have any questions from a previous class. Can anybody explain? Oh, I guess it's only you. Can you explain? <laughs> I forgot how many students were here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, what, what? Right, can you explain why telling folks to only focus on drinking orin is good, but not enough or complete enough to fully heal whatever condition they need to heal? No, I can't. You can't? No, yep. you have to tell me that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this was a couple of classes ago. Oh. If you're just- Saturation, saturation. Saturation, yes, yeah. that's true. If, okay. you're just, if you're just, let me, let me look at the question again. Right, for the people who are just like putting their little toe in the ocean or in the water, it's gonna make a big difference than jumping to all the way in. You're letting yes. your body, you're letting your yourself know that anything that's in there that's not supposed to be there, that's unhealthy to the system, is gonna be uh, affected and, and turned around. 
Mm -hmm. You add the protocols, you add the topicals, you change your diet. I mean, the people that are really proactive will get a lot more results than people who just drink it, but they don't change anything in their life. Yes. Yeah. And, and please remember this. So when it comes to conversation and, and people go, oh, so all I have to do is collect this and that and drink here and drink in that. And that's all you mentioned to them. Yeah. It was nice to give them the fuller uh, version of it. Mm -hmm. So why is UT a intuitive medicine? Why is it? Why is it? Why do I keep pitch telling people it's an intuitive medicine? Because it's from you. Oh, it knows you already. Yeah. Yes. It comes from you and it goes back to you. And it's intuitive, which means. It knows. The intuition tells you what you need to do. It tells you when to fast. It tells you when to stop eating. It tells you where to apply it. You know, all of a sudden you're grabbing and you're doing a protocol you didn't think about in a while and you're putting a cotton ball in your navel, you know, or a compress on your spine. So that's the intuition part. Instead of having to contact a teacher or jump on a book, your intuition is usually spot on. Yes, we need to learn to listen to that and our bodies a lot more, I think. Yeah, it's still a small voice. Yeah. Hey, can anybody explain why Oren is considered a universal remedy or panacea? What is a universal panacea or remedy mean? I, well, it can be used universally. <laughs> I, no. Bingo. There's no limitation. Yeah. Yes. Right. And it's been around for over 5,000. Well, it's only it's 5,000 years of documentation, isn't it? So obviously it's been long, longer than that. Yeah. Right. right. So um, it's longer than that because when I got my hands on books that talked about Damar Tantra in 1994, there's still 5,000 years before the books, right? So now 30 years later, it's more than 5,000 years. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, uh, universal remedy. So it's a universal remedy, which means it will work for any condition, regardless of uh, what they call the condition, regardless of, of your race or your species. It, it, it'll work for anything including our agriculture, including our clothes, including cleaning the house. Mm. Oh, and if you've noticed, um, my puppy's not running around like a maniac this morning. And I gave her a little rub. Very nice. I just and think this calms her down and um, she's fast asleep on my lap. Very nice. And are you are you adding some of your orange to her water bowl? No, I haven't been. No, but I just massaged her this morning with it quickly. Oh, uh, what you may want to try out is to get a little teeny, uh, a little teeny bowl, mm -hmm. uh, and put in about five or six uh, ounces of orange, and leave it out and see if she's interested at all. Okay. Yep. And uh, she'll tell you. Mm. Uh, some friends of mine they have a dog who will drink it all up in the bowl and it's a combination of of i don't know if they have no it's all it's all hers it goes in the dog's bowl maybe she'll mix it with a little distilled water she has a distiller at the house so she can you know make distilled water yeah. and the dog drink it laps it all up yeah if she's bathing bathing in a bathtub the dog jumps in the bathtub and laps oh, it yes, yes. Yeah. Same, same person. Okay, so <laughs> get your get your pets as as involved as you are. Mm -hmm. Did you did you also rubber 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 feet? No, it was very quick because I was getting on. Like, oh, okay. quickly try this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would definitely suggest her, her pause. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're going to uh, Daniel. If you check uh, your uh, messenger, you have your diploma, your certificate. 
Okay. Thank you. Daniel. Yeah, you'll check it when you get a chance. No. Thank you all. It doesn't say leapy on it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it says moral, Daniel Moral. Okay. So we're going to have the humor part of this class, which will put us on page 247. Three forty-seven. Three forty-seven. Okay. Well, first, I'm going to read from an excerpt from my new book. We're going to read an excerpt from the Piscabulary of Urinisms. <sighs> Go figure, a pee drinking man from Texas would come up with this nonsense, but it's already people already sending out money to prepay copies. I'm going, okay, we're on to something. Oh, so this, okay. is, this is from the, the introduction. A sense of humor can be a safety net when we are taking ourselves too seriously. Our experiences of life and the so-called world we think that we see is being created every minute by our most current dominant thoughts. What better way to get the laugh box stimulated than to laugh and joke and talk about drinking and topically using urine, orin, pee, piss, or shivambu? The truth about urine therapy has been suppressed and humanity misled about urine's medicinal and therapeutic properties. It was in 1917 when the Rockefeller Foundation was established to control the world health care system run by them so what page is that this is in my new book it's not out yet oh okay it's not the uh healing uh, water from within no but in the manual we will be going back to uh chat page 247 okay we're not there I yet. Got a bookmark. i'm giving you a sneak peek Okay, so these uh, guys are Rockefellers. Uh, they put together this foundation that was going to not only control the healthcare system, but a whole lot of other things. But we're just focusing on this right now. So what happened was they began a campaign to eliminate any competition, which was the alternative healthcare system, alternative health modalities, and alternative practitioners. Through misinformation, fear, division, and dominance, they put a spell over you to believe that piss would repulse you. This is where it all started, the propaganda. This book was written to clear any memories or negative associations you may have about pee due to early potty or toilet training, which may cause resistance to fully knowing the importance and value of your own water of personal aliveness. So that's coming up in the book. I've got three endorsements. I'm waiting for one more. If it doesn't make it, that's okay. We're still going to launch the book. All right, page 247. Humor is medicine. They say if you're smiling, it'll increase your face value. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Page mm -hmm. Daniel, what's up? Oh. Oh, it was a boo-boo. Okay. Humor is as a therapy. I mean, if he was my son, I'd totally get him. He's great. Uh, humor as a therapeutic adjunct to AUT does make a difference. Smiling not only increases one's face value, smiling produces endorphins and happy molecules. While dealing with the controversial subject, hold on a second. Oh, we're recording. While dealing with a controversial subject of drinking one's pee and sharing auto-urine therapy with sick people you wish to help, it will take a sense of humor as well as a sensitivity to learn the acceptance by prospects and newbies coming onto the urine therapy path. The, the Piscabulary of Oranisms was included in the book Healing Water from Within, 
in the upcoming version of Piscabulary, along with piss cartoons, pee jokes, celebrities discussing drinking pee, or people singing pee drinking songs was for readers to learn how to lighten up when presenting UT to anyone. Do you know that I find a lot of people, when I'm speaking, they start telling the jokes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's really good. Because <laughs> we yeah. just all start laughing and join in and all these jokes start coming out. <laughs> I yeah. know. And what do you think starts all that? What do you think gets that going? Maybe um, being uncomfortable could be a little bit of a, for some people, and then it just all lightens up. And Yeah. Because I don't take it offensively. I start laughing and making jokes as well and go along with it. So, yeah, yeah everyone's happy then, and that's great medicine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Laughter. Yeah. Laughter is healing. Laughter is therapeutic. And la laughter breaks down walls, yes. you know, divisions between people. Because all of a sudden, their mind stops thinking and their body is shaking in, with laughter. So, yeah, let's keep doing that. Uh, page 248. Uh, we're going to take a break in about 24 minutes. Mm -hmm. Humor and piss pun. Piss, piss puns. This was fun to write. I can tell you, this was fun to write. Humor and piss puns produce a temporary shift in the mind in its attempt to take in a new idea, particularly one that challenges their perception of reality. This is why being being in this being in this conversation with people, it it shifts them. You start talking about something that's totally foreign to them, um, and challenges our perception of reality or beliefs learned from quote trusted sources. While a person is going through mental gymnastics to be able to understand and integrate this new idea known as the sorting out period, AUT as an idea is worth considering. This must sink deeper into the mind until they get it. Now, you may not be able to read what's over that glass jar. Let me pull out a magnifying glass and see if I can read it. Let's uh, entertain the mind by thinking that you are already healed. You are simply cleaning up your mess with holy water. You bless yourself and your temple every time you touch the body with Orin or return it orally to its source. Yes, use an Orin compress. Drink your water, take foot soaks, enemas, rest, and play. If you want to know what that is, you might need a magnifying glass. Sorry about the size of that. Uh, bottom page 248, humor is the key that opens the mind. It spices and lightens up any apparent difficulties. Humor, like a powerful laser light, penetrates even the most guarded of minds, allowing new ideas to be planted in a now fertile soil. One pioneer in laughter researched claimed it took 10 minutes on a rowing machine for his heart rate to reach the level it would after just one minute of hearty laughter. Mm -hmm. So give yourself that gift today. Especially when you uh, start drinking urine through your nose first. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> particularly if it, starts, uh, if it starts draining out or it starts coming out too fast, you might start laughing if it's ever happened to you. Okay, uh, 10 minutes, page 249. 10 minutes of laughter can easily produce two hours of pain-free sleep, as well as a mind that's free from worry. It has been shown in several studies that the ability to laugh raises the level of infection-fighting antibodies by the body, as well as boosts the level of immunity cells, immune cells. Your body responds incredibly well to the effects of belly laughs. And as you can see, it also massages your abdomen mm. while you're laughing in this activity of like um, pumping activity going back and forth. It's massaging the small intestines, the large intestines, and you know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I guess in the middle of laughter, you're not like checking what's moving. <laughs> oh, sorry. Were you talking to me then about? No, I was talking generally. This is not. Okay, sorry, because I looked down at the same time. Were you laughing? Were you laughing? Yeah, I was laughing. 
<laughs> dog laugh? She's yeah. snoring at Brian's head. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, start giving her some water. Give her some golden water to drink. She'll start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? All right, here we go. The middle of 249. Or, and especially during looping, during looping, either sip looping or all out looping, increases antibodies, nourishes the nervous system, especially the adrenal glands. I would say also the thyroid and the, and the pineal gland as well. It nourishes the nervous system, normalizes work of blood vessels, and lowers blood pressure, adding comedy, humor, and laughter, reactivates, amplifies, and enhances the body's strength as it begins, excuse me, as it brings positive effects. Regardless of whether laughter actually does improve your health or boosts your energy, it undeniably improves your quality of life. Enjoying laughing is the reason to laugh. Being pissed on is more therapeutic than being staying pissed off. <laughs> Okay. A friend of mine told me one day his, his, his baby boy, who was like four or five months old, was standing uh, next to his legs naked and began to pee on his leg. And what do you think that symbolized? Love. Love. <laughs> so he, it was an act of love. He wasn't pissed at his dad. No, he was healing his dad. He was, thank you. <laughs> That's how I would have interpreted it. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, let's take a sip. I'm going to go over to 250. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, we'll finish up and then we'll go into who the Shivambu organization is. These guys have built an infrastructure for the water family. Okay, page 250. Get hip by learning an hilarious new Oran language. It is packed with piss-rich puns and new Oran words with definitions. Learn it today. It won't be confiscated, and you will not be pissing away your time. Breathe, exhale, and release all pressure from your belly, your mind, bladder, and intestines. Here's a pistacular idea that will facilitate your co orination with others. Pea puns are guaranteed to take you beyond the known orinosphere, the orin orniverse, the uriniverse, whatever word you want to use, where Shivambu devotees gather. The worldwide water family openly and sincerely show their pispec and love for each other. Since I first put out the healing water with the in book five years later, I hear these words being passed around social media. Yeah. I'm going, wow, they like it. <laughs> And people are coming up with new words all the time. The worldwide family already read that part. In my experience, I feel everyone's love and gratitude for hearing this message in the most perfect way. Just pee happy, pee active, and drink your pee today. Today's mantra, I now pee easily, effortlessly, and on time. I release, relax, and I'm present when I pee. That's one thing you can't be unconscious and spaced out and your mind off on something else. When you're peeing, that's what you're focusing on, right? Yeah. You're not thinking about what you got to do in an hour. <laughs> no. it's, it keeps you in present time, I love it. All right, page 251. Are we having a Mac Pissenden time now? Mac Pissenden. You're in good hands. You're in good hands with your own water. Just trust and flow with it. Hey, if they can't take a joke, pee on them. Uh, you know what to do. That's what that used to refer to. Um, have you come aboard the Oran wave before it becomes the big change? Come on in. The water is fine. Either get pissy drinking or get busy sinking. And that came from the movie Shang Sha Redemption. Did you ever see that movie? No. Uh, Tim Robbins and... Um, and Morgan Freeman are in a prison in Europe somewhere. <clears throat> and the, the guy who's played by Tim Robbins is complaining about, oh, life, blah, blah, blah. It's so bad. And I'm in prison, blah, blah, blah. And Morgan Freeman turns to him and says, listen, son, you've either got to get busy living or get busy dying. Mm -hmm. 
and he yeah. took that to heart and he turned his around his, his whole mind around and he, he he found a way to get out of prison mm. which is all the mental yes. prison okay hemponomics what happens when a hemp farmer uses orin in his field his plants become penormous was it Mary Poppins who sang a song that contained the verse expialidocious and simply let the piscabulary of Oranisms, which I changed the name to Uranisms, fill up your joy tank and you will never be piss poor again? Questions, comments, pee jokes, anything. Don't leave me hanging here. <laughs> Well, for me, I have to get used to the word piss. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that. Is that saying, a pardon? Is that a real picture for you or not? Uh, <laughs> or in... it, it, yeah, I, I find it when people say, oh, I'm taking a piss. I'm like, ooh, do you have to say that? But the more I read it and everything, the more it comes. <laughs> it comes around. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and that's how much we've been brainwashed yeah. in associating with a natural body function. The word piss, by the way, is known as an onomatopoeia, and it's basically words that have been given their names based on the sound of the, of the behavior. Yeah. So when it, when it comes out of us, it makes that sound. Yeah. Yes. Well, those that have a strong flow, it, it has that sound. That's where the name came from. Hmm. So just kind of like dabble in the piss and figure out if that word will be comfortable with you. Yes. You'll get through it. Just fine. <laughs> <laughs> but see, yeah. I'm laughing. Right. It's not a, good. <laughs> what, Daniel? Um, what I try to get people to do is... Um, look up or in therapy and then they don't know what it is so they look it up and like and then i uh use that as a segue <clears throat> um, do they write do they type the word orin or urine orin and it comes up and it comes up as uh urine therapy in the search engine mm -hmm. Most of them. You're talking about the top listings or they got to go deeper down into the stack? One of the top listings um, is urine therapy. Oh. If you search uh, urine therapy. Mm -hmm. And that's what comes up? Yeah. Um, Do you know where the word orin came from? Did we have this talk? Uh, I think so. Um, it was, um, I think it was an ancient, uh, and it was. It came from two different, two different sources. Yeah. One was Andrew Norton Weber back in 2010, 2012. And the other one came from Wikipedia. Uh, if you go to Wikipedia and you type in the name Aquaman. Yeah. And you read in further down paragraph, paragraph after paragraph, you'll discover that Aquaman's real name is Orin. So the god of water is more than a symbolism in our world and in our life. We drink it. We drink the essence of God. I think it's a new book. It's our god water. It's Sunday. I get to throw that out there. So let's take a little break okay we'll come back we'll talk about some things um uh let's see eleven twenty. let's stop the recording okay oh okay there's a boat down below there's the tree of life there's the umbilical cord going into the tree and in our connection to our spirit in the human body cool we shouldn't be cutting off our umbilical cord so soon. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and and at what point do you cut it? Uh, uh after it's shriveled up. Okay. After the uh the, uh, the um. 
the blood circulation the, yeah the thing that uh, the <laughs> now i'm trying to remember what that's called the um thing that your the fetus is attached the to placenta it shrivels up and it doesn't have any nutrients left it may take a whole day to do that so. yeah and, and more enlightened mothers and parents are doing just that particularly if they're doing a home birth mm. are doing have you heard of underwater birthing yes very very powerful the baby comes out of water into water and when yeah. it's ready to take its first breath the parents pull them out of the tank yeah. And it's the most natural thing. And the kids turn out to be well-adjusted kids. Mm -hmm. So if you ever had a chance to have kids again, I mean, I recommend that, but no, not in this life, maybe another time. <laughs> I wanted to do a water birth. Yeah. Yeah. And, and your kid, you have one or two, you have how many kids? Two. Two. And then you turned out fine. I didn't have one. I wanted one. Yeah. I wanted to have one. Oh, okay. I didn't get it. Um, we're on page 252. Now, when we're done here, hold on a second. I have a thirst for knowledge. <laughs> when, we're, when we're done here, we're going to have uh, extra time because sometimes it happens in these classes. So we might be a half an hour, 45 minutes uh, ahead of the normal completion time. And we could either open it up for questions and answers, <clears throat> or you guys can just take your certificates and run. So, you know, <laughs> whatever you want to do when we'll, we'll get to that point. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Chapter 22. This is who these guys are in Colorado. Shivambu is a 501c3 non nonprofit organization. Shivambu Hut is the first alternative social media platform focused just on urine therapy. Uh, as of the other day, there's like 903 members. Mm -hmm. You joined it, right? Yes, I'll have to. What's been very exciting is that coming into 2020, right before the pandemic hits, there's 200 members. A year later, there's 600 members. Yeah. There's now like, we went up uh, six, seven, 700 members in two years. Because yeah. people were wanting an alternative. Yes. Yeah. So that tells you that overall at all the social media groups are gonna start increasing in size, which they are. Your social media group, have you noticed it increase in size? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we barely got started. <laughs> All right, so Shivambu's mission is to support and educate individuals in taking responsibility for their personal well being through the daily practice of auto urine therapy. To tip the tipping point, the increasing cosmic energy or light wave is already here. It's visible as a golden liquid structure known as Shivambu. They got to stretch your mind to really makes sense of what I'm saying here right now. <clears throat> the golden liquid structure is also, this is what Shivambu is. It's part of the energy in the light wave that's re been returning to us through the cosmos and through our birthing and rebirthing uh, cycles. To reach as many minds as possible, messengers are using their voices in platforms like social media, <clears throat> television, radio, and books. Our efforts to bring the Shivambu message to local residents <clears throat> has been paying off. Now, this is happening in England. This has been happening in Africa. This has been happening in maybe even Australia, where uh, advocates and, and urine therapy teachers and writers are taking the story to the media. I mean, Harry's been on several uh, television shows and newspaper articles, as myself and some other people. So they're realizing that you got to take this off the internet. When Channel 9 News aired a story in 2019 at one of our urine therapy meetup groups of Colorado at the main public library, it released an avalanche of attention. Discussion and growing interest in urine therapy, there has not only been over, there's probably been like 70,000 views right now of this story since this TV show aired. 
But this also spun off to dozens of interviews and stories about UT showing up across the planet. Looks like the urine therapy of Colorado meetup groups keep spreading. Our recent meeting drew the attention of another major affiliate, Channel 7, which was uh, CBS. After airing the story, several affiliates, news stations, ESPN Sports, Newsweek, CNN, started all contacting me. I didn't know I was supposed to be that, that kind of a voice or that kind of advocate. I get emails and phone calls from East Coast, from, from England, uh, from China, this guy here, uh, John, he ends up contacting me from China and says, can we do an interview? And these were like coming every week. I ended up compiling like 50, 60 interviews. I'm going, that's the work. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Within a week, Brother Sage was contacted and interviewed on a health show based out in China. It was out in Hong Kong with a guy named John. I don't remember his last name, but that's his picture. Now, all the interviews are either posted at brothersage.com, Shivan Buhat, uh, my YouTube channel. They're somewhere. All responses, positive or negative, continuing to bring more energy to the sacred mission and message. <clears throat> the reason I said that, because when Channel 7 News did the interview, they came to my apartment, and one of the other board of director members, Therese, was there alongside, and we're doing Tai Chi, and they're filming that, and they showed all my sacreds and the altars, and they and then we're drinking it and showing protocols and teaching and all this. It went really well. Right in the last thirty seconds, they bring out the doctor to demonize it. Of course. Oh, these guys have got it wrong. They're in a call. It's blah blah blah. But but, but they didn't. They they could not have just fathomed that a television show has had over seventy views, seventy thousand views. So negative press. If you if you get negative press and you get guys that are heckling you, it helps the movement. You see that face of yours? It ain't gonna budge. Or are you frozen? Oh, you froze, Donna. Come back, come back, come back. You have a frozen look on your face. And Daniel is on mute and Donna is frozen. So we're going to pause the recording. Oh, I didn't mean.